Greetings. Welcome to our official YouTube channel, Petaka Technologies. In this video, we will teach you how to find unique values using DAX functions in Power BI. Looking at the sample dataset, we have a project table which contains two columns. First column is project name which contains the name of the various projects handled by the organization and in second column named as time taken. This column contains the total time taken to complete the project in duration of months. For example, project A has been taken 1.5 month which means it took one and a half month duration to complete the project. In this source data, we do have duplicate entries for same project multiple time. We are going to use the DAX functions in Power BI to find the unique values from this table by creating separate new measure. Then we will try to visualize this data in table visual and highlight the entire row of the unique values from table. Also, we will create a new calculated table by filtering the unique values from the existing table. We will start with creating the new measure to write DAX functions for finding the unique values in Power BI. To create new measure, select new measure from table tools tab. In Power BI desktop, Measures are created and displayed in report view, data view or model view. Measures you create yourself appear in the fields list with a calculator icon. You can name measures whatever you want and add them to a new or existing visualization just like any other field. Measures are used in some of the most common data analysis and simple summarizations such as sum, average, minimum, maximum and count. The calculated results of measures are always changing in response to your interaction with your reports, allowing for fast and dynamic ad hoc data exploration. Once you click on new measure, we can see the formula bar where we can write the DAX to find unique values in Power BI. Measures calculate a result from an expression formula. When you create your own measure, you will use the DAX formula language. After you have created a new measure, it will appear in one of the tables on the field span, which is found on the right side of the screen. Power BI inserts the new measure into whichever table you have currently selected. While it doesn't matter exactly where the measure is in your data, you can easily move it by selecting the measure. You can use a measure like any other table column. Just drag and drop it onto your report canvas or visualization fields. We have named this new measure as measure and followed by equal to operator. We will start writing the DAX function with if statement. It checks a condition and returns one value when it's true. Otherwise, it returns a second value. The syntax of if statement is if open parenthesis logical test parameter it will evaluate true or false and second parameter value if true it will return the value if it is true in third parameter value if false it is optional. It returns the false value if the logical test is false. If omitted, blank is written. 
the if function can return a variant type if value if true and value if false are of different data types but the function attempts to return a single data type if both value if true and value if false are of numeric data types inside of if statement we use count rows dax function to count the number of rows in the specified table or in a table defined by an expression the syntax of count rows function is count rows open parenthesis and the name of the table that contains the row to be counted or an expression that returns a table if you are not provided the table the default value is the home table of the current expression and close the parenthesis this function can be used to count the number of rows in a base table but more often is used to count the number of rows that result from filtering a table or applying context to a table whenever there are no rows to aggregate the function returns a blank however if there are rows but none of them meet the specified criteria then the function returns zero there are three reasons why we use count rows first one is it's more efficient and so it will perform better second one is it doesn't consider blanks contained in any column of the table third one is the intention of formula is clear when it's your intention to count table rows it's recommended you always use the count rows function in table parameter of count rows dax function we use filter dax function along with all dax function filter dax function returns a table that represents a subset of another table or expression the syntax of filter dax function is filter open parenthesis and in first parameter is table it should be filtered can also use expression that results in a table in second parameter we can use filter as a boolean expression that is evaluated for each row of the table for example you can use filter to reduce the number of rows in the table that you are working with and use only specific data in calculations in table parameter of filter dax function we use all dax function and select the project table in filter parameter of filter dax function we will compare the time taken with the maximum of time taken using less than operator the syntax of max function is max open parenthesis and choose the column in which you want to find the maximum and close the parenthesis along with that using double ampersand we will add one more condition to compare the project name with the maximum of project name using equal to operator and close the parenthesis of filter dax function next we will close the parenthesis of count rows dax function and we will check the result of the count rows is greater than 0 or using greater than operator with zero if count rows result is greater than zero then this condition becomes true in if statement if it is true then we will display blank if count rows result is not greater than zero then this condition becomes false in if statement if it is false then we will display unique and close the parenthesis of if statement let's visualize this data in table visual 
to visualize the data in table format select table visual from visualization section and drag and drop all fields from the source data including the new measure and place it in columns field of table visual after successful placement table visual looks like this first column contains project name second column contains time taken to complete the respective projects and the newly shows the result it's clearly showing the unique values from the column of our source data as per our expect project a entry contains two records first one considered as unique and second one is ignored even project 7 entry contains five records first one considered as unique and other four are ignored we can also highlight the unique values in the table visual with the help of conditional formatting in power bi to highlight unique values select format visual and expand the cell elements option we need to apply the conditional formatting for project name first so select project name from the option of series and turn on the background color once you turn on the background color it will display the background color window to apply conditional formatting in format style select the rules option and in apply to select values only then select the newly created measure in the field based this on it is not accepting the measure as a field because the measure output is in text format we will do little change in the measure to make use of this measure in conditional format in measure we will change the output from text to number for that we will replace unique text with number one we can see the one replaced unique in the table visual now we will use this measure in conditional formatting let's use this for using this we will go to format visual in format style select the rules option and in apply to select values only then select the newly created measure in the field based this on in rule section if value is equal to 1 then change the background color of the cell element into green after applying the conditional formatting click ok to confirm the changes we have done so far in this window now we can see the color changes in the table visual all unique values in the project name column since background color changed to green to highlight the entire row of the unique values in this table we will apply the same conditional formatting to the another column time taken in cell elements apply settings to time taken and change the background color turn on the background color option in format style select the rules option and in apply to select values only then select the newly created measure in the field base this on in rules section if value is equal to 1 then change the background color of the cell element into green after applying the conditional formatting click ok to confirm the changes we have done so far in this window now we can see the color changes in the table visual all unique values in the time taken column cells changed to green we can hide this measure from the source table to do that right click on the measure once you right click it will list out the options available related to the measure from this list select the hide option 
to hide this measure from the source table. Now we are not seeing the measure under the source table because it got I. Also we have removed measure from the column field of table visual. After removing measure column, we can see only two columns in the table visual. So far we saw how to find the unique values from the table using DAX functions in measure and how to use that measure to highlight the unique values in the table with the help of conditional formatting option in format visual. Next, we will see how to create a new calculated table to filter and visualize the unique values from the source table. In some scenarios, we must show only the unique values to our clients. In such scenario, this calculated table with filtered unique values will be very much useful. A calculated table is a computed object based on either a DAX query or expression derived from all or part of other tables in the same model. To create new calculated table, select Table Tools tab and choose Table Once you select new table, it will open the formula bar and we have renamed the table name as unique values. We will start the DAX function with filter function to filter the unique values from the source table. We will select the source table project. We also provide the condition for the filtering as output of the measure value should be equal to 1, which means it should filter only the unique values from the source table and close the parenthesis of the filter DAX function. Now we can see the new table named as unique values and it contains two columns in it. But the difference between source table and the unique values table is this unique values table contains only the unique data and it excluded other data. Let's visualize this data in table format. Select table visual from visualization section or we can also duplicate the already existing table by copy and paste. In columns field of the new table, drag columns from the unique values and drop it. Then new table looks like this. It contains only unique values in it. These are the simpler ways to find, highlight and filter the unique values in Power BI. If this video is helpful to you, like this video and share this video with others. Ask your questions or share your feedback in below comment section. To watch more videos like this, visit our official YouTube channel Petaka Technologies. To book your slot for online training, visit our official website petakatechnologies.com. To get notifications on upcoming videos, subscribe to this channel and activate bell icon. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.